Welcome to Minecraft Season 1, Episode 4. First things first, we've got to go over here and see if our cows will give us any more baby cows from here with cow crushers. It seems like we are packed out there. Then we're going to go back over here to the base. We've got eight iron ingots. We've got another eight or nine raw iron. So we're going to set those two smelting in the furnace. We're going to go back caving today just because 18 iron really won't give us what we need in the form of a full set of iron armor, which is my prerequisite for crafting any other iron, such as the pickaxe or the iron sword. So we've got the cave here, but that's a lot of tunneling across. There's a lot easier to access caves over here. And there's a couple of things we need to pick up first. So we need to craft some wooden, wooden paint planks into some stakes because we desperately need some more torches. Now, we don't want to fill our inventory with torches, so we are only going to make 16 sets of these, but that si those 16 sets will, of course, make 64 coal. So, it is all crafted. We're going to put them in our offhands to, again, make, e make them easier to deploy, but also to allow them to light up the area around us. We're going to put our andesite back into the drawer. We have all. And we're going to head back out into the crowd to the mines after we clear some of this out. One of our missions today is also going to get a little bit more cobblestone. 15 is really not as much as we would like. So we did that section down there yesterday. We're going to come back over here. And because that one came out over here, we are going to wait onto that little trench for later. We're going to head on over here to this dripstorm because that's an important resource for later on if we want to make lava. And the other two up there are going to take some climbing. So, get our strong pickaxe. And yes, the point of dripstorm did just fall. That is one of the new 1.17 updates. This dripstorm can both cut you and fall on top of you if you are not careful. So, that is one thing to think about when going into a dripstone cave. Speaking of caving, I'm very excited for the 1.18 update coming up just for the specific fact that we're going to be able to space our torches out a little bit more. The one thing when you are going down like this is you want to make sure that you are leaving enough space to get up and down out of your cave. I have had it happen before where I wasn't paying attention and I got to the point where I was ready to go back out of the cave and found that I had made that insanely difficult in that I had destroyed my pathway down. So luckily I had taken my own advice and the advice of others and I had some spare blocks with me because there's been times before where I've had to go back mining cobblestone and that kind of stuff because I ran out of materials to tower back up to where I had been. <laughs> so going back down here, I'm checking the light levels as I'm going along, light level six allows a mob to, or a hostile mob to spawn. So we want to make sure that we are placing our torches so that our entire area has a light level higher than seven, of seven or higher. And it looks like we're actually coming to the end of this cave of bummer. I was hoping it would be a little bit longer so we could get a little bit more ores out of it. Or that at the very least it would go a touch deeper. 54, even 52 is not as deep as I would like. Oh, there's some cool I keep missing up there. 
Let's go ahead and get this real quick. It is interesting how we mine some of this coal and it gives us no experience points when we're mining some of this other coal and it is giving us two or three experience warps. So let's go ahead and go down and do this one first. Let's see where it takes us. Okay. I was hoping there would be a little bit more than that. But I guess we'll take what we've got. Looks like there is some coal down here. And this is sort of what I mean about the coal can get a bit excessive. I mean, we haven't left any at the bit back, back at the... Oh no. A craft. We need a crafting table down because our pickaxe just broke. Let's put it in our dominant hands. Clear out our hot bar a little bit while we're here. And they went directly back in our hot bar. Oh well. I do take a lot of the wooden stuff out with a axe just because it does make it insanely faster and it doesn't take as much durability off of my pickaxe. So I think we're gonna end up this mission with a full stack and probably half of cool if I'm not mistaken. Just judging by how much cool we've already got. Hoping to get a little bit of iron, but it doesn't seem we're having any luck. Cool's good though. So, and there it is. Let's go ahead and finish this coal in before we switch over to finish to start mining off the iron and stamina. Hopefully, it's a semi decent pocket. And it looks like this coal is just about to. Oh, copper! Got a lot of I like how pretty the copper looks and how the weather is and everything. There's just not a whole lot in some copper. Check out light levels real quick. And let's go finish this iron. Now, you do want to make sure that you are keeping your ear out because I've had it before where I've went and gotten that one piece of iron that I'm standing on and some. I'm falling down. And so you look at a mini too. Or I went to get that last piece of iron and found myself looking into another cavern with a whole bunch of monsters inside of it. Checking our light levels once again. The light level zero thing that they're talking about from 1.18. From what I've seen in the snapshots is really, really cool just because the caverns are Still very nice huge. Makes it kind of nice. Let's see. Put some of this cobblestone layer up here. This looks like a decent cave. Um, as much as I love these circular rooms, I kind of hate them as well. Especially when you don't go anywhere. I mean, they're pretty to look at the natural generation of the circle, but at the same point in time, it is kind of frustrating. And there we have a full stack of coal. And the coal of the stack already. That's a good thing, Mr. Man, doing though. We definitely need a lot of coal until I can get a full bamboo farm open and operation. Let's see. We've got some more coal up there. And yes, I did get skip that cave back there. We will go back in there. There we go. But let's go back. Fill that in real quick because that has definitely got to be last week's so. Check out this cave up here real quick. We are not exploring this one. I'll put a torch down, I think, but I am not exploring that quest. Not until we've got something better than stone tickets and 
possibly some feather fallen boots because that's too big of a drop for my taste at this point. I don't want to get stuck down there. Go back this way. I get fire pants. I get fire. And it is so So we are going to have to go to bed. And that will be the end of the boots. Good morning, day nine. Let's try. No, oh, we can't go down this way. We've got to go down the other way. And I think I'm going to have to remake and move that bar because I keep walking into it just by where I placed it. Let's see, what do we have left down here? We did those bottom ones, we've got that top one left. Just that top one. See, how do I want to get up there? It looks like we're going to have to go into those other patterns on the side first. Now, the only fun fact about what I'm about to do is you've got to be careful. Oh, what's up here first? Oh, not what I was hoping. It just comes out of the top of the head. We still gotta go up and go back up. What am I doing? I am all turned around suddenly. So let's just kick these out of the way so that I don't have to go all the way around. And we are going to come back over here, and we are going to make a small tunnel. Now, the only thing you have to be careful about when making these tunnels is you have to mine before you set. Otherwise, if you don't, you can walk straight off the ledge on accident. I've had that happen when I'm mining up higher, and I didn't realize the edge curved in parked in and I fell off of it. I wonder where this one comes out. Let's take care of this coal first and then we'll find out where it comes out. And a stack and a half sounds pretty great about a coal level at the end of this. Because there's a couple more. And that gives us a stack and a half of coal. This car was thrown out of the way and the starts. Oh, and I see the fences. So, let's kind of put us right over back by the base. We've got this small cave over here, but we're going to drop some stuff off. Uh, real quick. Let's head back We really don't need all of this. The coal can go away. Let me make sure I've got a structural do I want a stack or a stack and a half? Well, I'm going to go with a quarter of a stack, actually. Get rid of all of this. Don't really need it as much. We're going to go ahead and drop this iron into this and with a piece of coal, and that'll give us 16 stacks. And that's going to be it for the day. Thank you. And have a great Minecraft day.